Hi YouTubers, today's do it yourself, how to change oil on your 2013 Town & Country minivan. I've been using ramps for many years, but if you don't feel comfortable, you can use a floor jack. Okay, let's take a look. As we come up, we see our oil pan. So here's our drain plug bolt. Okay, let's take our socket and turn it counterclockwise. It might be a little tight, so give it a good hit just to break that. Let's let the oil drain while we go in the hood and do the filter. Notice our oil pan bolt still in great condition. Let's give it a good clean. Under the hood, we loosen our dipstick. This ensures that all oil is drained. Notice our oil cap where we put our new oil. Always read your oil cap it says manufacturer 520 oil so most vehicles have their oil filter below the motor this vehicle is opposite notice this cap this houses our oil filter so we're gonna require a 24 millimeter socket but first we have to undo these three tabs in our air box this will give us plenty of room to take out our oil filter Have your rag ready to pick up any dripping oil. Notice our dirty oil filter. Notice our black rubber o-ring. Now pull firmly apart. Then notice the position of the filter and its housing. Let's take a look at our new filter. I picked it up at our local Chrysler dealership. Notice again the position and the holes of the filter. They also give us a brand new o-ring. Install the filter and the cap like so. Press firmly to ensure proper fit. Remove the old o-ring. Install the new o-ring. Lubricate the new o-ring with your 520 new oil.
Now install your new oil filter by turning clockwise. Remember not to over tighten since this is only plastic. Then reinstall your oil plug by turning clockwise. Tighten your plug but do not over torque. Then wipe off any excess oil. Now let's reinstall our air box. Time to add on our new oil. Always use your manufacturer's recommended oil, 520. Check your dipstick oil to see if it's in the safe zone between the two lines. Now you may not get an accurate reading because the car is still on ramps. So once the car is level, you have to do this again a few more times. And you may have to add more oil according to the dipstick safe level. So this vehicle takes 5.6 liters or 6 quarts of oil. Now start your vehicle to check if there's any oil leak. Everything looks good, so now you're ready to go. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.